Hey guys, Jim Rose here with uh, Sound Pro Live, www.rpmdynamics.com. Last year, uh, we started showing you some videos of some things we were doing uh, based around Midas AES 50 integration, trying to figure out a way to get third-party uh, DAWs and plugins and things like that working on on Waves on Midas consoles. Uh, this year, we've got something a little more interesting, a little more compact, and we've made some forward improvements on it that uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. Last year we introduced you to uh, a Mac Pro rig that I was working on that uh, helped eliminate the use of the DN9650s. Uh, the prices dropped on these but originally they were really expensive and we were trying to figure out how to give you a solution that was both affordable and a little more convenient and easier to use as a simple one unit solution. As much as I love these rigs and they've been very efficient in solving the, the problem of, of supplying AES50 communication to the Midas consoles, um, we realized after we started using them that uh, sometimes there was a problem because of the weight and the size of these things to get them to gigs. On fly dates, one-offs, they really aren't the tool to bring with you. Six months ago the solutions we were talking about for portability weren't available really to the public. Uh, with the invent of Thunderbolt coming out in the middle of last year, it gave us the ability to go from these big, big rigs right here using Mac Pros, which are the cost and the size, down to small portable rigs like this right here. And what we have here is now, instead of carrying all the stuff you saw over there, you can carry this one small laptop and one box this size, and that gives you a full 48 channels of 96K communication back and forth to your Midas. So Apple, Apple last year, they started integrating Thunderbolt into their laptops. And with Thunderbolt and a Thunderbolt PCI expansion chassis, now you have the ability to run the same cards that you used to run in a computer uh, portably over a Mac, a Mac solution. Uh, the wonderful thing about Mac, what they've done now, is they've introduced in their Retina machines and their iMacs two streams of Thunderbolt. And what that's given us the ability to do is tie two boxes into one computer. In a sense, now we've got 96 channels of I.O. The same output uh, and input count that you have with the DN9696 Midas big box, expensive box. Way smaller, way easier to carry, and you're not tied to just the tape machine uh, attributes of the 9696. Now you can use this thing for uh, doing your recording and playback, but you can also use auxiliary channels to start integrating uh, Waves multi-rack native into your system and you can run your native plugins on your Midas consoles. One of the things that we did with RPM Dynamics is we, uh, in, in a stock condition, the Thunderbolt chassis like this, they can't they can't fit the AES-50 cards correctly. The physical uh, locations and uh, spacings of the AES-50 ports don't allow them to work in the, in, as, a, as a standard purchase box. So we started working with the manufacturers and came up with a solution that allowed the cards to work functionally in the box and also uh, pick up your AES-50 output via Cat5 EtherCon connectors, not just a standard Cat5 jack. So one of the things we wanted to make sure with these jacks on here even though we're running standard Cat 5s here for this demo to show you, and a lot of you have in situations are going to be running standard Cat 5, all of your Midas consoles and most of your pro level stuff use a, use a, a cabling called EtherCon. And EtherCon is basically Cat 5 in a military jacket that's based around a connector that looks like an XLR connector, but it's a Cat 5 connector. So we built our boxes so that they can use your standard Cat 5 cables or they can use the the military grade pro cables that is toured throughout the world. So one of the other benefits of the Thunderbolt boxes is the throughput. The Thunderbolt chain carries a, a 10 gig stream of data and carries a 10 gig stream of, of uh, video. So one of the cool things we're doing now is because the new Mac Pro retinas don't have a FireWire 800 port on the computer any on the computer anymore, we've got a Thunderbolt to FireWire 800 adapter attached to one box which is feeding an external FireWire 800 drive. And we have another Thunderbolt to VGA adapter on the second box, which is feeding the KVM switch on the Midas Pro 6. So one of the cool things on the larger Midas consoles, on the Pro 3, 6, and 9, and the XL8, is they have a built-in KVM switch. And the cool thing about the KVM switch is now we can run our Waves plugins on the second screen in the console right here just like these plugins are internal in the console you don't have to be looking at your laptop or your other computer to run them and if you use the KVM you can actually open up your plugins and you can see right now we've got a bass rider on the bass guitar and you can actually operate your plugins 
and run them visually on the surface as they're built in uh, plugins inside of the console, just like other manufacturers are running through SoundGrid or through built in plugins. So, as you can see, we've got Waves Multi Rack on the KVM switch on the console. The HDMI output of the computer, we're feeding an external monitor here. So in our, in our shop here, we can actually run our DAW on the screen in front of the console, and we can run our waves on, on the actual surface. So one of my other jobs in life, other than my eight-day work week of everything else that I do, um, is I'm the production manager for the band Blondie, and I also do audio for them. We, uh, this year, we carried Midas Digital for our consoles, and uh, the band archives and multi-tracks the shows. So we carried an RPM TB48 as our record solution this year. And between this and a laptop, or in a Mac Mini on one of the runs, that was our whole, whole record ring. I've got actually one of our show files running right now. This is a 48 channel session um, from the middle of the summer when we were out on tour with Devo running right now. And I've got this running so that you can see that we're doing 48 channels of playback into our console. You can see across the Midas here, our metering, everything that's going on. This is actually the show file running back to the console. Um, but another thing I wanted to show you is on the second TV48 right now, we have Waves Multi Rack running. And in Waves Multi Rack right now, I have 48 racks running loaded with plugins across the whole uh, show file. So this is a great tool for the Midas consoles. I personally, I just love the way the console sounds natively by itself, even without this added, you know, functionality that we now have. Um, many of you might not need it and just love the console how it is, but there are several other manufacturers that already have built-in plugins or ways to utilize these plugins on their consoles. So now it's put the Midas on the same playing field as everybody else. Uh, maybe you don't need them for the sound, but there are some artists or engineers that have used plugins in the studio on their album and they want to carry them across into their live show. Now you have the ability to do this using uh, one of the RPM boxes via Waves Multi Rack into your console, and you have a basically built in Waves suite in your consoles now. So, integration of this box into a Midas is really, really simple, also. Uh, it's as simple as patching any other Midas IO. It's streams of 24. It's just another AES 50 device. It's a 24 block on your patching page that you just assign to anything that you need to assign it to. So these boxes, uh, besides being really simple to set up between all it is is Cat5 and Thunderbolt to plug them in and work, the way they function into a Mac is they run off standard core audio drivers, which means any audio program that runs on core audio on a Mac, you can utilize these boxes for. You can use them for Smart, you can use them for Waves, as we've got running here. You can run them on any DAW. Uh, DAWs like Pro Tools have a 32 channel track limitation of third party hardware. So if you did try to use one of these boxes on Pro Tools 10 or something to that effect, at 32 channels you'd be cut because the hardware, the software itself does not support over 32 channels. Um, that's why we're running Logic here. There's many other DAWs that a lot of you guys probably like the faces that you've chosen, but this will work on any of them. As you can see right here, we've got a playback stream running on the DAW. We've got plugins running on Waves, and we also have full metering on the console, so you can see everything is working simultaneously. Okay, so today we went over uh, AES50 communication from this Pro 6 uh, via an RPM TB48. We showed you some of the bullet points and some of the things about it. There are different methods that we've shown you. Again, the, the Mac Pro solution, it's about $7,000 for 72 channels of bi-directional rig set up. Uh, if you want to spend around 10 grand, you can introduce MADI interfaces and multiple DN9650s, and you can get 96 channels out of this, but it's around 10 grand for the whole thing in the big 150 pound package. Another solution is using uh, an external Thunderbolt box with a MADI card in that. With that, you can do one, two, or three streams of MADI, but you've got to put together the cost of the box, the cost of the MADI card, and each time you introduce a DN9650, that's going to add in an additional cost comes in middle of the road, uh, but keep in mind with the DN9650s, you can only do 32 channels of AES-50 communication per 9650 at 96K. And if you are looking at the stream counts coming out of your consoles, in order to get 32 channels out of one of these, you need to run one full stream of 24 and one of 8. So 16 of your channels of AES-50 communication go defunct each time you, you plug those two lines in. It's not available. 
Uh, the other solution we gave you was the, uh, the RPM Dynamics TB48. And this box here is a standalone box. It's this big, uh, two streams, the AES50 via EtherCon, and one Thunderbolt output to your computer. This 48 channels bi-directional, it's 2,600 bucks, so it's a low cost. Comes in between four and five grand based on your computer which that's the last bullet point I really wanted to put in here is that many of you guys in the audio industry are already Mac based and I would say most of you watching this video already own a MacBook Pro or an iMac or, or a Mac Mini so when it comes time to put your record rig together you've probably got half the cost already expensed out and it's just a matter of deciding whether you're going to do an interface with something like the RPM box or a MADI solution if you do have a Retina machine or one of the new iMacs at this point you do have two Thunderbolt streams so you can plug two of these boxes in and you can get up to 96 channels out of those rigs too for a pretty affordable price point. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed this video. You know, at SoundPro Live and RPM Dynamics, we do what we can to try to help you guys out with uh, communication and just information in our community and the audio world. So we hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.